Ahoy, Let's Watchers! It's me, your valiant Captain Vasco. You may be asking yourself, why are we in the combat upgrade screen? Since we just finished Spider-Man Noir, Act 1. Well, astute viewer who asked that very specific question uh, verbatim, uh, I, I decided... Well, in my preparations for this next level, I realized that there is at least one combat upgrade that I'm going to need in order to complete all of the challenges like I want to do. And, um, well, we, we have a bunch of spare points left over from that Spider-Man War level where we didn't need to buy anything. So uh, I figured we'd start things off by upgrading ourselves a little bit, and then we'd carry on with uh, Spider-Man 2099. Yeah, that's right. We're doing that. So here's the first one we need. Uh, or specifically, the one I've determined that is needed is web shots. It's very cheap, so it didn't really set you back much. Um, now, I know I've said I don't find it very useful, and I still don't. However, it does make uh, accomplishing one of the challenges in the first Spider-Man 2099 level much more tolerable. Um, so let's go ahead and buy these charge attacks. Um... Or, let's at least get 2099 and Ultimate, since we'll be getting use of those in the near future. And then we'll, uh, yeah, let's head over to combat, or to, to character upgrades, rather. Um, we've already got all the health that we could currently handle, but we do still have, um, we can buy this cheap upgrade to Accelerated Vision. And, um, Essence Absorption is also a really good upgrade, because it means every time you pick up a spider emblem, you get more spider points. And spider points are good for buying more stuff. So, uh, let's leave it with that for now. I'm sure we'll unlock some upgrades that we'll want to buy later on during the course of the level. And, uh, speaking of the level, let's get going. So, welcome to Spider-Man 2099, Act 1 of Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. It's gonna be the future soon, or so they say. Or John Colton, I guess. I'm not sure how many people say that, but people quoting him will say that. Scroll through the loading screen. This new spider sense is a trip. Either I'm not used to it yet, or I'm sensing one of the fragments closing in on me. I think he was right. I was right. Well, at least I found it. Uh, 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 spider. Don't fade on me yet. Who are you supposed to be? The demonic kumquat? You can call me... Uh, Hobgoblin! Hobgoblin! Every Spider-Man needs one. Newsflash, Hobby. You're not my first goblin. Ah, but this goblin has one thing the others never had. The fragment! Yes, and with its power... I'm going to tear this world apart! <laughs> Alright, so this episode does not mess around, or rather, this, this level. Uh, and you're immediately thrust into an action sequence. Uh, this is called a freefall section. And these are... These are a Spider-Man 2099 exclusive. The way it works is you need to hold down the A button. And again, uh, when I reference these controls, I'm playing the uh, Xbox 360 version. Jeez, so many cars. Ah, crap. Way away and up. Um, get him, get him. Isn't this nice? So, uh, the reason I'm really focused on doing this right now is that uh, there's only two sections in this level, where you have a chance to accomplish uh, two separate goals Isn't which require nice? a number of things, and I will touch on them in greater detail when I have a second to actually think. Oh, cool. I did not get as much done there as I wanted to. Got really, got really hung up on some flying nice garbage. Try, but my nanofiber wings broke the fall. Nanofiber? How'd you get your claws on that? Oh. So yeah, the, uh, the, the opening of this level is, is reasonably highly stressful the first time you play it, because, like, you have no idea what's going on. Alright, so we're already in a boss fight, so we go straight from introducing a completely new element of gameplay in the action sequence to a boss fight. 
suppose I'd run away too if I were you. And uh, this may take me a while because this challenge is a challenge that's really best suited for handling in this first boss fight. That's a real pain. I really don't oh, like this challenge. I've decided. It's the, the one that you need the uh, the web shot upgrade yeah. for, by run, the way. Run, now the run, idea here is that you know, like all hobgoblins, he is gonna throw pumpkin bombs at us. And oh, our goal I'm just doing a is to, like, somehow me. have miraculously perfect timing oh, such that we can fire webbing at him while he's holding a bomb and make him drop it. There, I've finally done it once. And, uh, we need to do that three times throughout the level, but, l like I said, your best shot is really to try and handle it here in this first boss fight, where there's the, the lowest pressure and the, the highest probability of success at any point. I'm not going all out and trying to hit him because I want to make sure that uh, that I'll be able to get all three pumpkin bomb drops here. There we go. Drop something completed. The first of the many headaches of this level. Now, I don't have any... You know, the, the design of this level is nice. I like Hobgoblin as a, uh, as a boss. Fine. But uh, the challenges of this level are very frustrating, actually. They're, they're some of the more difficult ones I remember. Like, the, not the most difficult ones, but like, all together, they sort of form like, one of the more difficult sets, I guess. And I may just be remembering that completely wrong, and I'm sure there are, there are worse ones coming up. But uh, I did not remember this level being as challenging as it is. So we've unlocked a new set of combat upgrades. Let's take a look at what we got. Spider Swipe is a new combo where you do he two heavy attacks and two light attacks. And you do a bunch of damage. Counter, I've never really tried out the counter because it involves good timing. And I think I've demonstrated just now that I do not have that as a skill in real life or in playing video games. Spider Stomp is one I actually like. Uh, while you're in the air, you press Y and you like hit the ground hard and send out a little shockwave to send people back. It's it's good for when you're being swarmed. But uh, when you're being swarmed, there's there's really nothing quite like the Y plus B attacks, and it, we'll be unlocking more of them shortly, I guess. I thought you got them all in a group, but uh, this one is specifically the Amazing Web Cyclone. So it's uh, it's the Amazing Spider-Man attack. Uh, normally I would spend the points on that, but we're not going to be playing as amazing for a while. So, let's unlock the spider swipe. And, let's take a look at ones that we haven't gotten from the past. Um, aerial grab. Don't particularly like that. Uh, grab uppercut. So when you're grabbing someone, you can launch them into the air. But I very rarely grab anyone. Uh... Got the Web Strike Punch and the Bird Eater. Web Strike Punch isn't bad. Let's buy that. And uh, we'll save those those remaining points for, uh, I don't know, something down the line. This was going to be too easy. I'm sure See, something this is why will I could up. never be a super villain. I don't laugh at my own jokes. Alright, so... Ooh. Here we are in uh, what the game calls a monorail section. And uh, normally I wouldn't bother going into detail about the name of a random section like this, because there isn't per anything particularly unique about the gameplay. However, uh, if you've been playing the game by yourself, you'll notice that at least one of the challenges references doing something in a monorail section. And I wouldn't say that monorail section is a self-explanatory name for this. Because, like, you're not on a monorail, you're not doing anything particularly monorail related. So I, I think monorail is a weird name for this section. But your goal, as you probably noticed, is to get up to one of these really high perch points. It's somewhat difficult, but not not too hard. Um, and yeah, all you really have to do is get on a perch point in this section, or one later on, because I think there's... Well, there's definitely more. I forget exactly how many off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, all you gotta do is get on a perch point. It's not hard, it's just like slightly confusing that they reference the monorail section without in-game really telling you what that is. So here's a hidden spider, but also a gold spider emblem token. This is gonna be really nice, because, uh, 
Well, I'll touch on it later, hopefully. So, let's fight some guys. Let's try out this new move. Except that you died too easily. You're harsh my buzz, guys. I'm gonna try out my combo. Guys, I almost had a little trouble there. Yeah, well, they're uh, they're making it somewhat difficult to uh, show off the, the new combo because well, let's be quite honest, that's a pretty heavy damage combo. And uh, thanks for helping me work out my aggression. We're still in the early stages of the game where enemies are not that difficult to kill. So I suppose it shouldn't be all that surprising that uh, that it's going to kill them pretty easily. So, actually, hold on. Let, let's take an aside, because uh, I've been accomplishing these challenges willy-nilly because I've <laughs> had to do quite a, through quite a few practice playthroughs of this level in order to try and get some of these challenges down. So, ones that we have accomplished. Drop something. That is where you need to get Hobgoblin to drop three of his pumpkin bombs throughout the level. It doesn't have to be in that first section, but I highly recommend it because it's much easier then. Uh, who's laughing now is uh, simply beating the first Hobgoblin appearance. Um, so yeah, once you beat that section, you just unlock that uh, challenge. Crow's Nest is the name of the one where in the monorail section you have to get up to a really high perch point. And those are the ones we've completed so far. Ones we haven't completed, Boom Shakalaka. Uh, you must. There are enemies who have rocket launchers, and you need to redirect their missiles into enemies instead of yourself. And it's actually not as difficult as it sounds, and you'll see why later. Um, like a blur, defeat five enemies while on accelerated vision. Accelerated vision being the reason why this challenge isn't so difficult. Boom Shakalaka. Um, free fall flurry. That's gets 25 punches on Hobgoblin during the free fall sections. As you can see, I've already gotten 19 out of 25 of those. Uh, you can only punch him while you're grabbing him, and you can only grab him after you do, after you hold down the A button to accelerate and get within a certain distance of him. And like all other points in the game, you grab by pressing the B button. So it's sort of like doing a stealth takedown, eh? Yeah. Uh, who's next? Time section, later on. Uh, Hidden Spider, not right now. Resisting Arrest, defeat 30 public eye patrol officers, so defeat 30 generic guys. Sweet Dreams is one uh, for the final boss, I'm not going to touch on that just yet. Uh, air Traffic Control is... There's a certain type of enemy that you encounter in, like, I think just one section of this level, and you have to try and defeat five of them. It's not that hard. They're just like a little bit difficult to track down. Uh, cosmetic surgery. Uh, this is the other free fall challenge, where you have to perform five smashes, which means that while you're holding on to Hobgoblin, you have to direct him into obstacles so that he breaks into them. Um, yeah, it, it's it's there's so much going on during the free fall that I was unable to sort of explain things as they were happening, and I apologize for that, but. As I said, this level really doesn't pull its punches. You start off in some really intense action, and then all of a sudden things finally cool down for a second, and that's where we are now. So, uh, it doesn't look like we've unlocked the ability to see it yet, but I promise you there is a challenge wherein you would like to hit five uh, public eye officers with benches. And uh, that's what I'm going to do next. So here's a bench. There's a guy. Bench. It's a box. I don't want a box. Uh, give me a bench. Hit the guy. Benched. So, yeah, bench press. Hit, uh, five public guy officers with benches. There you go. That is the name of that challenge I just told you about. So, let's see. Here's, um, something I wanted to mention before is that um, the, the reason I went out of my way to get that uh, gold spider token was in that weird place is because one of the sort of side effects of the level design of Spider-Man uh, 2099 levels is that it's actually somewhat difficult to locate the tokens. Normally they have like a little bit of a glow to them that sets them apart from everything, 
but in the futuristic world, like, everything is glowing constantly. Like, everything is made of neon and glowing and moving and scrolling constantly. Like, look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. That's like, Code Red Public that's... Alert. Holy crap. Um, there's a spider token over here. That, like, see, that was, like, practically invisible. The only reason I know that is because I've played through this level, like, 30 times. So, in this room, we want to get out a little bit to trigger this explosion, but you don't want to get too far or it'll take, take a hit for no reason. Here are the jet bikes that I need to defeat in this section of the level. Now, as you will notice, there are not five of them right now. There were just those two. More of them will show up, but, like, because they're hover bikes, they're kind of difficult to track down at times. Um, this is actually a level where you, you will want to make some use of your, uh, Spider Sense for its intended purpose of finding villains, or enemies. But, uh, right now, these ones just flew straight up to my face, so I'm not gonna have any trouble finding them this time, which is good! I really don't think there's any set pattern to the way the, um, the hover bikes show up. I think they just, like, appear and, like, they sort of try to find you, but, like, they don't necessarily come from the same side of the level every time. Um, let's see. Billboard, yes? Okay, yeah. Uh, another place you can look for spider emblems, because they are somewhat difficult to find in this level, is in this particular monorail section, there are these, like, floating holographic billboards, and they, um, they tend to, they don't always, but they tend to hold spider emblems. Like this one I found here, which is not a billboard, but I just happened to find one anyway. Um, is there one on this billboard? Da, 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 da. Nope. Is there one on this billboard? <coughs> da, 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 da. Nope. Oh. We, uh, we've got another fight coming up, but I think, uh, I think we'll save that for next time, considering the frantic pace of this episode. Don't want to get too involved too early, so we'll save some of the action for later. I hope you've been enjoying Spider-Man 2099 and this glimpse into the crazy neon-scrolling future of the future. I guess I could have said of 2099, but that would have required forethought, which I have none of. So to see more of me frantically scrambling through the future, join me next time. And uh, feel free to subscribe and leave comments and give me thumbs up and ratings. It's, it's delightful. I love all of these things. And uh, they'll make the future a brighter place.